Alrighty, today I will show you how easy it is to upgrade from Phantom 2 X4 or X3 to a Phantom 2 X6. So this is an AMD Phantom 2 X6 and comes with the heat sink and the CPU. Firstly I checked whether the BIOS is the latest one. Uh, on this motherboard 790x UD4P gigabyte. I upgraded the BIOS from F9 to F10A. F10A supports this new CPU X6. And I got some alcohol for cleaning. And Arctic Silver 5 paste. A paper towel. A torch. A lamp. That's where the CPU is. Okay, so I begin with turning off my computer. There it is. Turn on the light. There is a clip. Unclip it. Remove the heat sink. This wire. It's pretty dirty, needs some cleaning. Take off the clip. And that's the Phantom 2 X3 which I was using but uh, I could unlock the fourth core on it so it was effectively a Phantom 2 X4 there it is come out baby that's the old chip mm -hmm. let me put it down here that's my new baby Alrighty. See there are some spots spots on the chip which would need some cleaning. Which I will do it right now with the IPA isopropyl alcohol. Also known, known as rubbing alcohol by medical people and medical store walmart kmart people so if you want to get this you can go to any drug store or a supermarket and ask for rubbing alcohol all right it's clean uh, probably yes. oh, it, it will do good with some more cleaning okay cool Clean now. Let me take it out. Remove this anti static foam. Oh, I have to be very careful holding this baby. Alright, so I have to align the chip. Huh. Okay, so this golden goes there. Right. Check the gaps. So this golden arrow goes to the corner. There, it's seated. Now I need to put in a dab of thermal paste. I prefer Arctic Silver 5 but, but uh, it's possible that you can use the heatsink which was shipped with the CPU or use your own favorite, favorite thermal paste uh, with the CPU. So anyways there's the Arctic Silver 5. Usually this amount, like a 
pea pod size amount is enough to form a thermal conductive layer between the CPU and the heat sink. All right, so that's my heat sink and it's pretty dirty right now and I need to clean off the old uh, thermal paste and I will pause the video here, clean it and really Okay, so back to the video. I managed to clean the heat sink, the base surface with uh, alcohol. And now I'm gonna put this heat sink back to where it is. A small note on note on this clip. Uh, this clip was not shipped with the Zalman heat sink, but with a AMD Phenom 2 X3 heat sink. So I took it off from the AMD heat sink and used in this. Uh, Zalman. I've been using this heat sink since the last four years. It started with the Intel Core 2 Duo and because the clips are different on the Intel and AMD sockets I just took off the clips from the AMD heat sink and used it with this Zalman heat sink. There it goes. I'm seating the heat sink back on the CPU. Alright, so I'm going to seat the heatsink on the CPU. There it is. Okay. Adjust the light. Alright, long story short, clipping this clip over here and there with a single hand is a very difficult proposition so I had paused the video done it with both my hands and so the Zalman heatsink this model takes in air from this side pumps it through the fins and over there so that the power supply fan can suck it out So the cold air goes in through here and the warm air goes out. So I finally clip Okay, it took a reasonable amount of pressure, that's good. I rotate the heat sink a little bit to remove any air bubbles that may have had been caused in the heat sink paste, in the optic silver paste. Uh, now I have to plug in. Okay, so let's boot up the computer. You might have wondered that the power cable was on the whole time. It was plugged in the whole time because uh, it's, go it's good to have the chassis grounded while upgrading the hardware. To reduce any risk of uh, electrostatic discharge. Let's see how it goes. There it is. It's booting up. I pause, pause the boot process. Phenom 2 XX 1055T. This is a 2.8 GHz model. Now, I want to go to the BIOS setup and see if things are good. Okay. Alrighty. So there we have core 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cores in total. And a simple, easy CPU upgrade. Thanks to AMD. Thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye.